You may have heard of the Division of Wildlife and Partners that have been trying to secure a desert bighorn sheep nursery herd here in Utah. I don't know if you've heard the entire story. Tonight, we're going to tell you. Hey, I'm Adam Eagle. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, it's something that's been going on since July of 2022 when the DWR was able to secure some animals from Nevada. And that is where we pick up our story. In July 2022, 31 desert bighorn sheep were captured in the Muddy Mountains in Nevada, okay. yep, there we go. loaded into a Utah DWR trailer, and driven to Skyrider Ranch in Tabione, Utah. Young Living was, was fantastic. We have a lot of people in the state that are passionate about wildlife and passionate about bighorn sheep, and we needed a place to, to house these sheep, and Young Living stepped up, and, and they've been phenomenal, great to work with, and we, we are Super appreciative for everything they did for us in that in that bind. Skyrider Ranch was never considered a permanent solution as a sheep nursery for the state, especially when predation at the site started to take a toll on the sheep herd. For instance, since these 31 sheep were released back in July of 2022, 18 of them have died, mostly due to predation by mountain lions. Dozens of mountain lions were discovered inside the enclosure and over two dozen were dispatched, all in an effort to save the sheep herd. The DWR and its partners knew they had to find a better solution. They've been great to, to let us um, house these bighorn sheep here and uh, the time has come to move them to more, a more permanent facility. Okay. One, two, three. We set up a drop net, got them coming in to hay, got them uh, habituated to that. The preferred way to capture the 13 sheep is to use this net, but the DWR does have a helicopter on standby with a capture crew if needed. Looks like they're finally going in. They're kind of being little stinks, but we've been out here all morning waiting for them to get under this net. After a few hours, a couple of the sheep have finally taken the bait. They're high maintenance. There, you gotta, you gotta watch them. They take some really, hands-on management to keep them healthy and free from disease, tested for disease, um, keep them spatially separated from, from domestic sheep and goats that they can get disease from. Mm -hmm. And so it's a, it's a lot of work, um, but we think it's worth it. The second net dropping was much more successful. Yeah. Two, four, ten. That'll be three. There you go. I think one other, I think they got two that got away. But from dropping it that far away, that was a long way to get here. And finally, the last two sheep were captured using the helicopter. Once on the ground, all of these sheep were given a checkup. You're going to take blood from her and then take some swabs. I mean, that's pretty loose. You want it tighter? Their GPS collars were adjusted or replaced. Then they were finally loaded into the trailer. We're moving them to a, a property that Sportsman for Fish and Wildlife acquired on Promontory Point and we've got a, a brand new high fence out there and we'll release them in there. What's the difference between there and here? Probably the main difference, the, the predator loads will be are, are way different. There's a lot of, lot of predators here um, at their current facility. Mm -hmm. The new one uh, will be significantly less predators, less, less stress on the animals. It's a lot more open terrain and open country and bighorn sheep really like to have an open view shed where they feel comfortable and escape terrain, yeah. where they can escape predators if there ever is one. I think the, the new facility could easily house 100 bighorn sheep. Okay. And um, we'll just kind of have to watch the sheep and let them tell us um, by their body condition and reproduction. And, and um, they'll, they'll let us know if it's, if it's getting nutritionally limited. Mm -hmm. But um, we, we think we can house a lot of sheep there. What's the end goal with all this? The end goal is to have a place where we can keep desert bighorn sheep free from disease, healthy, um, where we can have a, a pool to take from and, and augment existing populations or reintroduce to, to new populations. And it basically ensure the future of, of bighorn sheep in the state. We're with Troy Justison, the president of Sportsman for Fish and Wildlife on Promontory Point, just west of Corinne and it feels like we're out in the middle of nowhere. It is isolated, as you can see, uh, we got one tree on the whole place, it's right back here behind us. <laughs> and it's just really just more suitable desert sheep habitat. It's normally what they live in, and it's just, in all honest, at, honesty, Adam, this is their place. I mean, there's no, we couldn't ask for a better place to have a desert sheep nursery herd facility. 
This is where the 13 desert bighorn sheep were brought and released just before dark. It's more suitable for desert sheep in their habitat. Yeah, sheep love to see. Yeah, they don't like being confined to trees. It's just more of their natural habitat. And we have the ability to control more of the outside circumstances, whether it be predators or access or whatever. This is just, if there is ever a place this nursery herd is going to work, it's right here. This backside and get out of the wind a little bit. Yeah, you know, several times we'll see them in that center ridge just working their way down. There's a spring right there at the bottom. Where does money come to buy this property and to fence it and to turn this? Where did where did this? Where did you guys get? It came from a lot of different places. The Expo one. Yeah, it came from a, a lot huge from private donations. It came from sportsmen, conservation permit money. We had some amazing partners. Uh, Utah Wild Sheep Foundation, the Division of Wildlife Resources, uh, Valley Fence, Alec. As you've seen the fence, it's bulletproof. It's amazing. They had to build it in some pretty harsh conditions and they got it done quick. Yeah, the list goes on and on of the people to thank. You have a lot of private money come into this. You have Todd Peterson uh, Family uh, Trust come in and helped us out with a huge donation. Gary Sorensen as well. Uh, can't thank everybody for stepping up and making this you know, be a reality for us. There were other buyers interested in the property. Troy says it was good fortune and a good family who owned this property to help secure the land for the nursery. I reached out to Aaron Richmond and said, hey, would you and your family allow us to buy you dinner and just tell you, so we can tell you what our vision of this place is and why we want it. And so they were gracious enough, Lyle and Heather and Aaron, to sit down with us and they caught the vision and they agreed to sell it to us and we are so grateful for the Richmond family. In fact, we will name it after them. It will be the uh, Richmond uh, Desert Sheep Facility. How long do you, do you figure until we get sustainable herd or sheep herd out here that we're able to pull some off? Well, it depends. I mean, obviously we've got a great working partner in Nevada. You know, uh, from what I understand, we're supposed to get some more sheep you know, come uh, this early summer in June. And so uh, we hope to within five to six years, you know, the sheep numbers will be to the point that we can start pulling the offspring every year off, you know, to augment, you know, wild, wild populations throughout the state or reintroduce sheep to where they uh, were no longer in existence. This is going to ensure that uh, future generations are going to have the opportunity to chase sheep here in the state of Utah. That's what's so exciting about it. That's the goal. 100%. This is pretty special to me. I mean, I tell my office every time I come back from out here, I say, man, I'm still giggling. I can't believe that we actually pulled it off. This is 100% sportsman's dollars work. Obviously, I mentioned that you know, we had some huge donations privately, but the majority of it come from sportsman's dollars. All sportsmen in Utah get to hang their head on this. This is pretty cool. Troy was saying that because of the topography of this piece of property, they're going to better be able to manage the predators that are able to get over this fence and keep them away from the sheep. They're going to do everything they can to make sure that this nursery herd takes off.